this is the first time that the S12 has been displayed in the United States. Uh, it was unveiled at uh, Friedrichshafen at the big air show in Germany um, this year. In March of 2016, EASA in Europe granted a type certification. So as a result of their type certification, we were able to bring this aircraft to the United States for certification in the United States. We've already flown with the FAA, so certification is in process. They're doing all the paperwork now at this point. The S-12 is really an evolution of the S-10. The company has taken all the recommendations by the owners over the years. Instead of incorporating them into the old aircraft, they've come out with a new aircraft that incorporates all the, the things that owners have always wanted. Uh, longer wingspan, we've gone from 23 meters to 25 meters. That goes in the USA from 75 and a half feet to 82.04 feet. In order to handle the longer wing, we've widened the landing gear stance um, quite a bit. If you s look at the two airplanes together, it's pretty obvious that the landing gear is wider. So it makes it a little easier to handle on the ground. One of the things our owners really wanted us to incorporate was the trim. It's always been a manual trim in the S10, and we finally go into an electric trim via a button on the stick. It makes it much easier to trim the airplane both under power and in soaring mode. The glide ratio of the new S12 is up by about three points, so we're now 53 to 1 instead of 50 to 1 with the old S10. The propeller on this airplane is unique. Nobody else has a configuration like this. The only way to get very, very high performance in a glider that has a propeller is to hide the propeller when it's in gliding mode. And that's what this airplane does. The propeller completely folds up and goes behind a nose dome. And that's on, on all of the STEMI S10 and the S12 have that feature. One of the new things in the STEMI S12 is better center of gravity control by adding water ballast to the tail. So if you have two large people in the front of the airplane, you can add weight to the tail. It makes the airplane perform much better in both soaring mode and under power. Very often, glider pilots will shut the engine off. They may soar for six, seven hours at a time. So in order to keep all the avionics, including the Mode S transponder with ADS-B in and out, radio, glide computer, AHARS, all of that stuff is running when the engine's not. So the solar cells keep the battery charged to keep all your avionics working. One of the things that makes traveling really nice in this airplane is there's an autopilot option. So if you're traveling long distances and the range on the airplane is 945 nautical miles, it's nice to have the autopilot where you can just climb to high altitude, sit back and cruise and relax. The service ceiling on this airplane is over 32,000 feet. However, the airplane is not instrument certified, so the practical limit is 18,000. I spend most of my time cruising above 12,500 just because it's more comfortable at high altitude, the controllers hear the radio better, and there's virtually no general aviation traffic up there. This class of motor glider is called a touring motor glider. So it's designed to operate as an airplane as well as a glider. It cruises at about 120 knots, which gives you 140 knots airspeed true at 10,000 feet. So it's, it's reasonable for traveling. People can cover large parts of the United States in this airplane in very little time. For instance, I've flown it this summer all the way from Miami, Florida to San Francisco and then back to Oshkosh, demoing along the way. It's been a very enjoyable summer just, just watching the United States slide under the canopy. It's, it's, uh, it's really wonderful. Aero TV is brought to you by the dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Visit our AirVenture booth 622 in the North Aircraft Display Area. 2020 is coming. Will you be ready? Whipair's ADS-B program takes the stress out of the mandate by allowing you to reserve shop capacity in 2016, 2017, or 2018. For more information, visit whipair.com slash ADS-B and fill out a short form to request three custom quotes. See what Whipair can do for your aircraft.